Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, I'm pretty tired. I just did my first Muay Thai lesson with the whole family. I'm getting old, but I'm going to continue guys. Um, today, a very short TA update to show you what is happening on this beautiful day, Monday the 28th of November. We had a, a closing candle on the weekly, so let's see what is happening in Bitcoin. I have two amazing charts at the end that I haven't seen before, haven't shared before, and you really need to see these charts because there's a shitload of information in these charts. Now, let's quickly jump into the first one over BAM here. Yes, like you are used from us, um, this is the one hour chart one second my face will be there uh, this is the one hour chart on this one hour chart you can see the bam bam indicator that we use the bam bam indicator works very simple when we see double yellow triangles it means the candle are closing down below the stepping line we see a red flag over there uh, we see a shitload of blue on the bottom over here this area sorry here this blue and we can see also that the bam bam line already crossed that white line over there so this is on the one hour chart. If we see that, that's like a quadruple confirmation, you take that short. That short would lead uh, to a maximum of profit um, of 2.7%. Uh, at the moment, you would be at 1.9% if you're still in it uh, without leverage. With leverage, of course, like a leverage of 10, it's a little bit more, it's like almost 90% profit um, in a one hour trade of one, two, three, four, five, six hours. Really cool uh, trade. If you wanna have access to these indicators, guys, um, then go to the Bitcoin family.com on the bitcoin family.com uh, you will find the menu in the top of the uh, website products indicator packages the gt guard is the free one you need to walk through five steps uh, and then we have the indicator packages that are the paid one but they really are helpful when it comes to trading especially when you're a newcomer in this trading industry and you need to compete with all the pros now bam let's zoom out we are zooming out this beautiful chart over here um, is a weekly chart and on the weekly simplified version, you can see that yellow line. The yellow line is a 21 weekly moving average. If you look back all the way in history, like to the beginning over here, 2013, uh, those years, we have always been close to that 21 weekly moving average, the yellow line. And at the moment, we are taking a small distance of that line. That is what we always saw, also saw here in this bear market. You see, we come far below that yellow line but then we slowly move again to the yellow line here 2018 bear market 19 bear market we at the bottom we are far apart from that yellow line the 21 moving average and then we are closing into it and then going above it again here again that COVID drip below it but we move above it again so this line in history has been an important line we are far below the yellow line that greenish line is like an extension how it could go it could also go, of course, a little bit more deeper like this and then turn around. Uh, we have many possibilities in Bitcoins at the moment, but there will be a moment in this sideways movement that we will break that line. And the moment that we will break that line will be a very clear sign for you guys. OK, I really should be full in Bitcoin at the moment. Also, when we look at the bottom, we can see here uh, on the RSI, the blue line is starting to curl. It will come cross up and then cross the red line to the top. That's mostly when the market shifts around again. And even in this indicator in the bottom, these green bars at the top you see, that were the perfect accumulation moments of Bitcoin, the perfect moments to buy Bitcoin. Here, this area, here, that area, and that area. The red areas are the areas to sell. Now, we are in this green area. You should be buying Bitcoin, but I have some really cool other charts that will show you exactly the same, guys. Now, let's um, quickly jump into those charts as well. They are over, bam, here. This is the first one. <clears throat> Don't uh, be freaking out at the moment uh, because this is an inverted chart, <laughs> which means um, the chart is upside down. So don't freak out that we saw see another dip in Bitcoin. Um, it's the other way around. You see, uh, we have 140K up here and we have like zero over there. Now, every time Bitcoin does the same, we crash, we rebound, and then we break that bluish uh, line. And then when we break that line again, we have a, a bull run. Again, we crash back. And then again, when we break that bluish line, bull run. And every time we do this, now we crashed. We are now slowly moving um, above that bluish line again. And after that, again, we'll come a bull run. And we can see every time in that bluish area that we are above that blue line, 
these lines are going sideways and then when they cross and go down again that is the moment that that next bowling will be going to start again and if we look at this one this is a 15 day chart we can see uh, something very interesting as well on this 15 day chart so um, every candle is 15 days we can see that we had a single top over there and a double top over there and then the bear market crashed all the way back to that single top area this move now spinning top over here double top is the bear market again crashing to that previous top that's the question this is the zoomed in version where you can see what is happening if that would be true and that would be the bear market then we would slowly start to build up again two week candles so every candle is two weeks so slowly we could start to build up again and then in 2025 reach the top again of that next bull run now any more interesting charts yes of course this one this one shows you again a red area this is the dangerous area where the blow off top comes in so that is also where the bear market will start then we have the green area that's the accumulation area this is the moment you should be buying to then uh, join the beautiful bull run in that yellow area and then be aware again in that top where you should sell because then the bear market will start again and every time we do the same we go sideways accumulation bull run then it becomes dangerous and it becomes the bear market and then again here sideways accumulation bull run dangerous part and then again you have the bear market and then you should start to accumulate again and every time again there will be followed up by a bull run now if you look to the bottom you see the chanda mo um, here you can see that every time when we come in this green area over here that is the moment that we are accumulating it's the, the 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 best part to accumulate your bitcoins you see every time the best part to accumulate your bitcoins and we are now exactly in that area this is the best part to be accumulating your bitcoins really interesting chart pause it if you want to see some more now next one here this chart is also really cool this one I found somewhere on Twitter. Uh, ah, here, set fine. Uh, finance it probably means. <coughs> this is the monthly chart, so we're zooming out a little bit. And here he's showing as well. Um, at the moment we hit that orange line with a double bottom, that could be the moment that uh, the bear market is fully in, that we saw the bottom that you should be accumulating every time. We are at that line again. It should be accumulating. If you look to that bottom part of the chart, you can see as well that if we hit that line over there with the red line that is the moment that the market also will turn around again the moment the market will turn around the moment the market will turn around and here again there will be a moment that the market will be turning around and become bullish again so very interesting charts uh, i hope you really enjoy those so give the thumbs up for these charts then there is one more chart that i want to share with you and it is not a chart but it's like showing you something really cool it is showing you where all the billionaires and millionaires are uh, moving at the moment because we can see there's a huge migration going on for example a lot of them are leaving ukraine a lot of them are also leaving russia china hong kong they have minus 15,000 millionaires, minus 10,000 millionaires. Singapore is gaining almost 3,000 millionaires. United uh, Arabs over here, gaining 4,000 millionaires. Australia, gaining millionaires. New Zealand, gaining New Ze uh, millionaires. Portugal, yes, of course, gaining uh, uh, Bitcoin millionaires. Greece, even gaining. So we can see Mexico is losing a few. Brazil is losing a lot of them. The UK, people are leaving the UK. I think if the Netherlands would be on a chart, they would also be leaving the Netherlands. Switzerland is gaining. So you can see that these millionaires, they always move to those places that they feel uh, comfortable and bam not to spending too much tax because they won't don't want to spend too much tax and if they don't want to spend too much tax they need to move with the millions or the billions to a country where they are not taxed that hard like portugal zero percent tax on bitcoin or not two countries where the inflation is not hitting them too hard so these millionaires are always migrating and, and that's part of what i always say flexibility is the new stability we keep moving around to those countries where we can live in a 
freely way, freedom way, without paying too much tax um, on the capital that we worked very hard for. So, and it's a legal way, of course. It's not leg- illegal. That's why all the millionaires do it in a very legal way. Now, uh, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all these millionaires migrating all over the world? Maybe they're all digital nomads. Um, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Bam!